Hello guys, welcome back to Stevie Runs, the channel created for like-minded people looking to become fitter and healthier people. If that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button below. Let's go on our running journeys together, shall we? All right, long time no see. My fault. Um, ain't gonna lie, the weather's been so rubbish here that it's been hard to get videos done outside. Uh, I don't do too many indoor ones. Um, I've got the, uh, the how to do 80 20 running or um, polarized running video ready to go. But I'm just going to do a video today to quickly discuss um, my marathon training this week and the week before, maybe. And uh, yeah, let's have a go at that. See you in a sec. Okay, so just in the middle of a, about an eight mile run it's gonna to be today. It's Tuesday morning, it's the start of my running week. Everything's going good so far. Um, I'd say the weather worked great last week. Um, I got my four runs in, very rewarding to get it done in crappy weather like that. It was just wet and windy everywhere. Probably same for yourselves wherever you are in the UK really. But um, yeah, all good. The Tuesday last week was just a standard 55 minute run, but it's about six and a half miles. Um, Thursday, ooh, heart rate's going up. Thursday before work, 5 10 a.m., um, another six and a half miles. Uh, nice and easy as well, but only 150 heart rate. And then Saturday came, um, dodged the clouds, got into a bit of sun, a bit like this for an hour. Uh, done some intervals, five times five minutes. So a nice 15 minute warm up with uh, five intervals of running fairly quick, uh, sort of six and a half, seven minute miles with uh, some, a little nice break in the, in the middle, uh, just two minutes actually. It's not much of a break, but real hard workout. So Sunday, went out with Mikey for a nice long run, a nice 11 miler. Now throwing some hard efforts in there to try and get the percentage up for 80-20 which I will explain on the upcoming video so don't miss that but yeah I got the uh, I did get the percentage up to 13 to 40% I think fast and the rest of it low intensity so all the right things to do as I say it's just been bad look at the trees just down everywhere probably can't see behind me but everywhere is just um been absolutely ripped to shreds by this by this windstorm and the storm that came on Friday. It seems to be like non-stop windy now. So apologies if the video is windy and bad quality sound-wise, but yeah, it's just been it's been taking walls down, trees down everywhere. It's just piles of trees on the side of the road that have been dealt with by people, bless them. Look at the piles of broken tree and that in the field, it's just, I don't see for everyone, but we're right in the middle of the country. We seem to have took a, quite a battering. So hopefully everyone's safe on where they were. Um, and on the West Coast, it's gonna be way worse than this. So hopefully everyone is fine. fell over one of the workmen's <laughs> oh I hope no one was sat in that when it went over or do you really <laughs> all 
Right, so with that, training feels like it's going really well. Um, I feel strong, happy to get 30 miles in last week. We start gradually building up from this and get more like 20% of the hard efforts in as well. Um, I got my 20 mile run in like four weeks, I think. I got my first full marathon in about nine to 10 weeks. I have to count out when I get home. So now I feel like I've done it all properly this time. I know it's not a great um, amount of time to get ready for a marathon. Could have left it longer, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to do a marathon that's nearby. And I wanted to get one in before uh, to London to see how I'm gonna get on at London. So it'd be nice to see what sort of pace I can manage for the 20 miler in Milton Keynes. To give me a rough idea of what I'm gonna be able to do for the MK marathon. And maybe the London marathon after that, so. Just literally indicate of what I can do. Man, that's windy, it's still going. Never ending wind. So I've just thrown in some sort of quarter mile, uh, sort of fartlek runs in the middle of this. Get my older heart going. The idea is to get it over to over 170 for my threshold. And just hold it for a quarter of a mile. Slow yourself back down to 150 heart rate. That's just to add to the tally for the end of the week without it being too stressful on my body. Winner. I was a bit fat, like, get the heart rate up. Four times should do it today. Oh. That's it, so four, four bits of fat lick thrown in. Get a pace up, get a percentage up on the 80 20. That makes the workout feel like a good one as well, so really. That's it for me today. Just an update of how the training's going for people that are interested to see how my first marathon goes. Um, like I said, please keep an eye out for my 80-20 video that's coming up in the next few days. Just finishing editing that. Might be able to help you on your way to up in your game for running. If you're just doing math now, watch it still because it blends that in with it. If you're just running slow now, watch it because it's going to really take you up to the next level with a bit of luck, which I'm hoping it will do for myself too. So thanks for joining me. Check out my Instagram, my Strava, my Twitter, all that. See you all soon. Deeper runs.